Let's go get some loot, everyone. Woo, loot! We had ourselves another stellar, flawless victory. Full of greatness and, you know, awesomeness of Grimmeth being Grimmeth and all that jazz. It, it kind of happens, you know. I'm, I'm kind of me. I'm just cool like that. We have the option to repair broken equipment, and I think we'll do that with you. Because it seems fitting for you to do it. I think I'll have you preserve the six spare meat. You two can do some herbalism. You folks can go hunting. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, everything else is fine. Cool. Alright, we salvaged two pieces of equipment. So one was broken from our equipment stash, and we ended up getting two out of it. I'll take that as a win. Let's uh, head on across the river there and uh, follow the guideline to uh, the former Expedition's treasure store. Because I would like some more treasure. Also, there was a point of interest that I left behind. Oh, we can go fishing. I like the sound of that. Also, preserve. And you can hunt, and so can you. I think that's fine. This might be my last video of the session. We, uh, the sun's gonna start coming up soon in the Saturday morning sky. I lost some rope during the night. Let's go ahead and, uh, make a save here. For I am a brave man. We, uh, definitely need some more traps, though. Definitely need some more traps. I, uh, I keep burning through them. Might have to use those flasks of healing water at some point. Making your way slowly up the river, your people seem a little on edge. Perhaps it's excitement about the possibility of finding some of their long-lost countrymen alive. Perhaps it's quiet dread of the prospect of discovering the demise of Felipe Gutierrez. We already found his grave. Most likely it's a mixture of both. You're keeping an eye out for anything that could be described as the gate, and eventually a pretty promising candidate shows up among the treetops a little ways into the jungle. A giant stone arch that looks like it ought to be the entrance to an enormous temple, but which seems to be standing all alone between the trees. Approach the arch. You leave your horses with the servants and take your followers to investigate the arch. The arch itself is uncharacteristically plain, hewn from rough stones, as though whoever erected it somehow never got around to etching in the typical Aztec symbols that you've seen so many times in your travels. You pass through it without incident and stop to survey the ruins of the modest buildings on the other side. Far from an enormous palace deserving of such an imposing gateway, three small stone houses is all you find. We'll search the houses gain for the experience points. Inside one of the houses, you find what's mu what must be the remains of Felipe Gutierrez. Although we ended up finding his grave, it might have just been without his body, so it's sort of like a dedication memorial thing. A skeleton sitting on the floor, propped up against the old stone wall, clothed in the withered remains of once fine garbs, bones long since picked clean by whatever vermin lives in this part of the jungle. Old traces of blood on the floor illustrate his path towards what became his final resting place. Next to his hand lies his beautiful banner with his family crest. His other hand clutches a piece of cloth, part of the uniform of an officer of the Spanish Navy. It is soaked in dry blood. Let's see other houses. The other houses contain a great amount of goods that must have made up the spoils of Gutierrez's expedition. Fine Aztec works of art, most of it made out of gold or coated in it. Sacks that look like they used to contain several days' worth of rations, which has since been eaten by vermin. A few securely packed boxes of medicinal supplies, partly from Spain, but supplemented with naval rivulets, made of rivulets. The only thing missing is weapons. You send somebody, ba somebody back to get the horses and salvage everything that's salvageable. Before you leave, you're compelled to give Gutierrez a proper burial. Diana picks Gutierrez's banner off off the ground and raises it, admiring it as it unfolds. This is a beautiful banner. You would want to be buried with it. Laszlo folds his hands respectfully in front of him. I think it will be a disgrace to bury Gutierrez's banner, Tayana. We should take it with us and bring it into battle, as it was meant to be used in honor of his memory. Let's... And let's bury him with his banner. They've gained morale. You respectfully place Gutierrez's banner next to his bones before your servants fill his grave with dirt. All the members of your expedition form a respectful circle around the site. When the wooden cross, as nice as you had time to make it, is placed in the great explorer's grave. We got 50 medicine, 500 valuables. You all help pack the med medicine and valuables from the dead man's expedition and amongst your own cargo, and quietly set out to continue your own adventures. 
So we've discovered the fate of uh, Felipe Gutierrez. We kind of already figured he was dead anyway. We kind of found a grave, but now for realsies, we, we know he's dead. 350 experience points, and the party morale is back to being, you know, well, it's still amazing. I mean, take for example, uh, Bernardo here has a 5% critical hit chance, which is not bad. Could be worse. Could be better. Could definitely be worse, though. Alright. So, treasure and prizes were ours, and yes, go fishing, my friend. Go fishing. Cast yourself into the waters and plumb the depths of... stuff. Yes, stuff. <laughs> you returned empty-handed. You suck. You can't plumb the depths at all. Worse shit. Oh. Just gonna go ahead and uh, clear out the fog here completely. There we go. And I guess while I'm up here, I could uh, swing by the fortress again. Because <laughs> that wouldn't be obnoxious or anything at all, no. I don't feel like raiding burial grounds. I'm a nice guy. I only did that once with Anna, and she she came back with Jack. Nope, oh, storerooms are refurbished. I really don't need to see those, but... You know, get a new thing. Get a new thing started. Hell if I know how long it might take us, though. Probably two to three days to make it back there. Yeah, two to three days. This is the story of how I keep talking about uh, making it down there and uh, never making it down there. <laughs> Good story, everyone. Yeah, we'll leave all the loot behind. Unless there's something directly in our path. Oh, let's consolidate our map of the planes. You can do that, Julio. Because you suck at practically everything else. It's not my fault. There we go, 100 experience points. We're up to 460. I'm uh, getting close to being able to upgrade someone else to sergeant. I think it's 600? 600, yeah. I, uh, I might... All their units move three spaces towards the lieutenant. Could be valuable. We give them extra moves. I don't know whether that movement would provoke attacks of opportunity, though. I might uh, take a look at the manual at some time, if I remember. <laughs> and that's a big if. You know, I probably should have gotten the damn stable before I got the stupid storeroom. It would have given me some extra movement. But at least I could compensate for the fact that I'm going back here. But on the flip side, you know, it... No, don't, don't do this again. Please, for the love of God. Yes, continue to be far back there away from me. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Yeah, I guess I could have gotten the stable. Ah, eh, well. Shit. Mistakes. They happened. You preserve. You hunt. We're good. We've still got a ton of food. And medicine. So really, you know, I don't think we're on a timer here. If there's like some sort of achievement dependent thing on being on a timer. And I think we got all the time in the world on account of, you know, finding the fountain of youth and everything. But, but that just might be me being absurd, really. You visit the storeroom just as Umberto is inspecting the result of his people's work. He eagerly shows you around the new storage space, which is large enough to hold anything you might ever want to deposit there, and then some. From now on, you can choose to store some of your resources in the fortress you visit. Resources placed here will be safe from bandits, savages, and whatever else you might, might happen to you during your expedition. You return to the fortress to retrieve your resources at any time you'd like. I'm not sure whether that'll be so useful for us, but it could be so that, you know, things stop getting stolen in such egregious quantities. I like the idea of having so many of my things with me, though, in case, you know, shit goes bad. 
Uh, visit the barracks. 78 soldiers. All right. And the fortress? Uh, let's go ahead and get that stable that I keep talking about. Well, not keep, but... Well, my horses deserve... Ah, I skipped out of the dialogue. Whatever. They deserve better treatment or some such. Go ahead and collect my oil. Let's go ahead and trade. Uh, get some more valuables in here. Please. Good, good, good. Generous prices, man. Big fan. That'll be fine. Let's go ahead and stop in. I... Yay! And now... Let's go ahead and deposit resources. We'll, uh, we'll leave behind a hundred rations. And a hundred medicine. In case the worst happens. That way I don't lose so much of those things if uh, they actually get stolen from me. And, uh, I guess I can leave behind a thousand valuables to jumpstart me. A just-in-case supply cache. For just-in-case reasons. I can dig it. Okay, uh, we're gonna try this again. <laughs> Did I never visit that grave then? God damn it. Stupid, stupid, stupid. I thought I visited everything interesting down there. But apparently I did not. Apparently Grimace failed. Clearly Tassadar has failed us. You must not. Uh, preserve, preserve. Hunt. Alright, Julio. Need you to make me a lantern. Actually, just make a bunch of cannonballs instead. They're easier on the oil sort resource to make. We need a lot more oil. Up, oh, we got pickaxe level three. Hurrah! By the time I march all, the, by the time I ride all the way down here, frazzle, 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 dazzle. I mean. After the uh, the stable upgrade, the only upgrade I have to get there is the tavern. I don't know how many more times we'll be going back to the fortress, so I'm not going to get a whole lot of use out of that stable, right? I guess unless I start, like, exploring around there. Eh. Hell if I know. Oh, well. It's not supposed to be a perfect playthrough. I can, I can afford to make mistakes. Especially since the game allows me to. No, you can make another cannonball, too. We do have a bit of preserving we can do. You can take care of that for us. We have received three torches. Oh, thank God. I didn't know what I was going to do if I didn't find those torches. <laughs> uh, it's a little reverent of torches, I know. If we were a normal adventuring party in a tabletop role-playing game, I'm sure those would be handy. Look at it. Uh, yep. Let's dig it up. Cool, everyone. I'm glad we, uh, glad we had that moment there. Glad we spent that time doing that. That was 100% worth the price of admission. Without a doubt. No regrets or take backsies at all. No. No, not a one. Not a single one. All this extra emphasis I had in now in tinkering. Kind of seems it's out the window here. Not that necessary anymore. Well, we'll make two spike traps to sort of compensate for all the ones that we used. We did use a lot. We got a lot of meat there. Good. Well, let's go grab all these herbs. Since they're kind of conveniently located there. We're going to visit the wondrous glories of... Of Tino, the biggest little city in the Yucatan. Oh, hello. Biggie, come back. Biggie, 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 Biggie. Biggie. Damn it. Kill the damn thing. Thank you. Slaughter that animal in my name, please. 
Thank you. Much obliged. Uh, hunt. Preserve. Preserve. Actually, you can just preserve. Ta da! Nope. Oh, watering hole. Fantastic. Extra meat. 30 meat. Good. We got tons of spike traps still. And, uh. Let's go ahead and order them like. That. That'll be fine. Actually, no. Now that I have a few cannonballs, I'll put the cannon back in there. Alright, let's go for real. We're gonna make it, I swear! <laughs> We will one day make it to the city. Oh, goddamn. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Your advance party doubles back to warn you that they've encountered an Aztec patrol up ahead. The Aztecs appear to be aware of your presence and are actively intercepting your cores. Let's inspect the terrain. The landscape here is uneven and devoid of trees with large rocks jutting out of the ground. You identify the area where your expedition are most likely to clash with the Aztec patrol. If you were to engage them in battle, it's a well-suited location for a close engagement. It kind of seems like they want to kill me, so uh, I'm not going to run away from this one. Whatever, the cautious people and the open-minded people can lose morale for all I give a fuck. Let's go ahead and scout out the enemy's ranks. Six man strong with one champion. Let's go ahead and gauge the opinions of our expedition members. I say we avoid them. Any Grom group is a threat as far as I'm concerned, regardless of their affiliations. Bernardo starts derisively. Clearly they're already aware of our presence. I think our best option is to attack. Perhaps they're used to people around here fleeing wherever they go. An aggressive response would take them by surprise. Maybe this patrol has been traveling across the plains collecting taxes. Ooh. All right. Let's go ahead and listen to uh, the words of wisdom from my party here. Meet these bastards in battle and uh, let's get it over with. Let us get on with it, shall we? <laughs> oh boy. I don't feel like using my other two equipment, whatever. Anna and Daniela, let's go. We got some scouting done and seems like we're going to be facing some even odds for this. Hmm. Interesting. Sergeant Trapper. Oh, god damn it. Veteran. Oh, fucking shit. You know, you don't need to get. You don't, guys don't need to warn me about, like, the shamans so much. What you guys need to warn me about is do they have veteran trappers or better? That's the information Grimmith needs to have. That is definitely the information Grimmith needs to have. If you tell Grimoth nothing else, you tell Grimoth that. <laughs> Things Grimoth wants to know before he promptly dies. Uh, I guess I'll use a cannon. I don't. I guess I do have a lot of barricades. So I could just. Neener, neener? And. Neener, neener. Yeah! Be an asshole! Or they'll just promptly hide behind those barricades, and then we'll never have nice things, right? I guess I do have a lot of spike traps, too. So I could do something like... I could use all of them. Yeah, sure. What the hell? I got tons of resources, right? I can piss everything away on coke and hookers. You can't stop me. I'd rather save the cannonballs, if anything, so you know. And we'll put that barricade there. And we'll put the cannon here. Yes. I do, yeah, I don't think you're actually going to be able to shoot anyone. Yeah, I didn't think so. If wishes were fishes, right? We'd all have a lot of them. Yay, 5%! Achievement unlocked, pod shot! <laughs> Score a hit with a ranged attack with a 5% hit chance! Well done, Rita! <laughs> I was awesome! 
AI is like, what the fuck? Come on. Come on. Let's go ahead and throw this down. Perhaps I should have... Uh, whatever. It'll be fine. We will go ahead and stay like this. Well, eh, that'll be fine. Go ahead and move yourselves back then. We'll see what happens. Here comes the shaman. Surprise he didn't try to heal the, the unit I had injured. <laughs> Interesting. They have a very defensible location there to move uh, troops along. You know, the same defensible location that I have. Doesn't look like he's interested in uh, trying to hang to the barricades and use those as defense of his own. I'm cool with that. Don't have a problem there. I might lob a cannonball into this. <laughs> okay. I... Alright. <laughs> what ifs? The hell do I know, right? Alright, shaman man. See if I can uh, weaken you any. I would like to. Damn it. You know, really, it's all gravy from here because I I I hit someone at a five percent chance of success. I got the pot shot. Apparently, that's a thing. Uh. Hmm. There we go. Make sure everyone's defensible. Wanna lob a cannonball into this? No, not really something I can do anyway. Alright, that'll do. He's like, fuck that! I'm a curse you instead! White. White. White! Uh, I didn't know you could use a blowgun like that! <laughs> I mean, it makes sense that, you know, he's a trapper, so he's gonna have the hailstorm no matter what, but a hailstorm of blowgun darts, that is... that is special. I, I don't even know where to go with that. And you're gonna hailstorm me too, right? No double move. Okay. Well... Now, now let me be clear. Now let me be clear here. What's gonna happen here is, uh, well, for starters, we're bottlenecked. So obviously, we're going to solve the bottleneck, right, everyone? Bye. And uh, it's time for, uh, for 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 little people here to play, yes. Mm, yes, 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 yes. Quiet, quiet, yes, quiet. And we need to fix that condition. The shaman put on you with a juju. You can take a nap. Bye. No doggy treats for you. <laughs> doggy treats? What? Okay. Uh, five movement would uh, definitely allow me to clear out of the way and give Isabella a fair crack at this. So, uh... See, 92 endurance probably means I'm gonna have to burn uh, the attacks of both scouts, yeah. Probably. Let's go ahead and shift out of the way. We'll let uh, Isabella make her attack. I'll roll forward. Have Anna make an attack. Ah, yeah. Then Danielle, I can finish him off. Good. So, uh, not all the spike traps were used again. That's okay. I just, I found it important to, uh, get that weakening happening there. You know, the weakening. Where everything comes together and the stars align. That. It's a good moment. 
Hello. <laughs> Sergeant Trapper. Yep, poison. Kill the surprise. Quick shot? Quick shot. I can understand why they. Well, oh. smoke bomb. Oh, smoke bomb. Well, now I'm doomed for sure. I'll never, I'll never have peace. Not with a smoke bomb. And... Let's see here. Two, three... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was thinking about stunning you. I might not have to, though. Seeing as how this guy is pretty much screwed, I would say. Yes, yes, I would say so. Yes, quite, yes. Go ahead and use a cure here on Rita. And, uh, yeah, sure, we'll pull out the stun. Whatevs. Just in case we don't finish. <laughs> Yeah, just in case. <laughs> Glenda, tell me a funny story. <laughs> oh, that was that was a good joke. That was such a good joke. Oh man. I like the part where I made everyone laugh. That was a good part. All right, Rita. Let's go. Two spike traps left behind. We can't recollect them, which is a shame. It's a shame you cannot recollect your deployed traps. Or maybe you do, and I just don't realize it. You certainly recollect your deployed cannon. Although not the cannonballs, of course not. The barricades, I think, I think all in all it was a worthwhile expenditure of my resources. I don't regret it. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Don't die. You're stunned. That's not dying. That means I can accept that. Oh. Whoop. This puts me in a potential angle to, to flank both people. That's opportunity there. Mm, yeah, let's go ahead and provoke it. So I can do this. Ah! You fool. Go ahead and uh, cure you up, so you can serve as a potential flank person for... Well, not like that would have mattered, but whatever. There we go. Get the surround hacks on you now. Fool. Doing good, doing good. Oh! Go champion! Don't have to take any of my shit. Have a crazy swipe maneuver that deals people. Oh, wow! Learn something new about these uh these guys. I mean, he didn't win, but I learned something new. And tactician five of fifteen achievement progress. Let me go ahead and take a look at that. Tactician is. Achieve 15 flawless victories in a row on normal or greater difficulty. Oh. <laughs> in a row, huh? Ugh. I don't know whether I have that many fights left in me. 20 rations, 500 valuables, 2 rope, 1 oil, 5 herbs, and 100 experience. Your troops face off against the Aztec Patrol and emerge victorious. Your people quickly rifle through the belongings of your vanquished foes and add their loot to your carts. There's an unusually large amount of valuable trinkets with a large enough range of artistic expression that you suspect they must have been stolen or raised as taxes from remote villages. You also recover half the amount of rations and a pouch of untreated medicinal herbs. Up to 560 now. I think I'll promote to my second, uh, my second sergeant. 
My only question then ends up becoming, who do I want to make my second sergeant? I might make Pedro my second sergeant, if only to uh, give him Hardy for increased survivability. Well, so let's go ahead and throw down a save here. I believe that was a situation warranting a save. We had ourselves a wonderful fight. Very spirited, full of vim and vigor. Yes, quite. Let's uh, gather some herbs while we're around here for some medicine. Okay, we have a lot of preserving that's being done. That's good. Think you need to hunt. And you can, you too can do some herbalism. Woo, free valuables. Yay, free valuables. I don't know why, why, that, why that danced there like that, but it did. When trade with the villagers, I do remember them having a very low supply of food. But they do have expensive prices. So screw them. They can die. <laughs> That's my attitude, and I'm sticking to it. Nope, more herbs. Looks like we have a farm here. Cool. A fairly large area around along the northbound road from uh, from Tino has been cultivated into farmland. It doesn't look particularly fertile, but apparently it yields enough to cover most of the city's consumption. The farmers here look tired and weary, yet they turn out to be friendly enough when approached, and some of them offer to trade their surplus food for medicine or valuables if you have any available. Uh, preposterous prices, though. I'm not particularly interested. Uh, they are naturally distrusting of me and our bet my band of people, you know. It's understandable. Chart the lakes. Hmm. I see. Well, that's a thing. Hunt. Hunt. Hmm. Go ahead and preserve that lat that that two spare. That'll be fine. Oh, stables finished. Yay, stables finished. It doesn't look like we can do anything over here. Well, uh, let's go ahead and pop our heads in. Hmm? Game suggests that I go around this way. Okay. I guess I have a, a better angle here. Indeed I do. Indeed I do. But, I tell you what, folks. <laughs> We've gazed upon the glories of Tino, the biggest little city in the Yucatan. In the next session, I'll actually go in there. We'll say hello and sup to the people. We'll meet with Montezuma. Good old Monty. He's got a lot of, uh, he's got, he's got a high unibot prop build. He's very aggressive. You can't trust Montezuma. But, uh, we'll have to wait to see what wonders of the Aztec Empire we can behold in the next session. In the meantime, I, I might introduce myself to my bed. <laughs> I'll go conquest that. Conquest it? I'm not going to go conquer, I'm just going to go conquest it, yes. <laughs>